Hello, everybody. This is Dr. Nowak again. In this video, I want to talk about uh, some comments that people make. It's really kind of funny, but you always seem to have the aquarium police out there. And these aquarium police are always making comments of, oh, you have too many fish in that tank. Uh, you're having problems. Now, even though the video may not ever say there's a problem, oh, you're having problems because you have too many fish. It's like, I'm not having too many problems. You know, where are you getting this information? You can see it in the comments that either they're not paying attention to the videos, where the video never says even once that there's a problem with the aquarium, and the aquarium police say, oh, the reason you're having problems is because you have too many fish. Well, I'm sorry I didn't mention I was even having a problem. I'm just letting you know something. It's not a problem. It's just something I'm letting you know, information. Anyhow, I, I see this on other videos, too. Uh, one guy was uh, a landscaper, and he was he trimmed this hedge, and he said he had all kinds of comments from people. Oh, you destroyed the hedge. You just, it's, it's no good now. You, you don't know what you're doing. And the guy said, yeah, I know what I'm doing. He trimmed this hedge, you know. Uh, to get it under control for the homeowners. And uh, so then he did another video I just happened to catch. And it was five weeks later, and the whole hedge grew back in. Beautiful. You know, he it, it got too big, and he just brought it down to a uh, manageable size for the homeowner. You know, the, the, these are... I guess people we find on YouTube, they become the know-it-alls. You know, I call them the aquarium police. They uh, they want to tell everybody what they're doing wrong, and you should do it my way because I'm the police and I know everything. One thing the aquarium police constantly bring up is stupidity. Besides stupidity, they bring up stupid arguments, you know, without thinking. You, you don't bring up an argument and not think about it because it makes you sound stupid. And they bring up these stupid arguments, like uh, one argument that one person made was, uh, you know, you know, the plants do benefit the tank and blah, blah, blah. Well, if, I understand what he's saying. Plants do benefit the tank. And then you should make a tank that has zero plants in it and blah, blah, blah. I understand what he's saying, but he doesn't understand enough about microbiology. First of all, plants are not a necessity in an aquarium. As you have seen in my, well, for example, my last video, the guy who had the 135 gallon discus aquarium, all with plastic plants. Plants should not be relied on to clean your water. They are beneficial to a tank if you want to use them, but they should not be relied on to clean water in any way, shape, size, or form. When we make an aquarium, we should rely on bacteria just like Mother Nature does. I can show you hundreds of ponds and lakes just where I live that have very little to no aquatic plants in them at all. And they are still surviving with fish and game, game fish and everything else for the people to get. And they really don't have any aquatic plants for the size they are. You know, anything that would be of significance for these lakes and ponds that are here. Okay. They're just too massive to say those plants are doing something great for that particular body of water. You understand that's limonology. You have to determine plants and bacteria. And the main thing you look at when you deal with living algae is bacteria. Not you're not you can look at plants, but the reliability and uh, they could die, they could be seasonal. You know, there's all kinds of things that fall into plants that may not uh, fit into the criteria of keeping a body of water as clean as you want. So therefore you depend on bacteria because that is reliable. That is a gimme. Once you put water inside of a tank and then you add some 
wood or rocks or some substrate, you will have bacteria. That's what you want to rely on and depend on. When I make up a tank, I make up a tank for the fact of you're relying on bacteria. You are not relying on plants. Now, I'm not saying that plants will not help, but to rely on plants is stupidity square. I'm just going to have to say it the way it is. You don't know what you're talking about. You want plants, they will aid, but to rely on them, no. Plants are just too unreliable. Some plants that we have won't live long enough to benefit the aquarium. They may live for a short time. Other plants, if you're not feeding them with a lot of CO2, they're not going to grow. They're not going to benefit your aquarium that much. And every time you look at these aquariums with these beautiful plants, they barely have any fish in it. People aren't stupid. Apparently, the aquarium police think everybody is ignorant and stupid except them. No, people are not. We see these tanks. We see you got 15 little bitty fish in there. You almost need a magnifying glass to see them. And they're saying they're a great success story. Sure, when you have an aquarium with barely any fish in it, yeah, it's easy to be a success. And if you're pumping all kinds of CO2 into it with your plants, it's easy to be a success. But you have to remember, this hobby has been around a lot longer than any of us have even been alive. And people have been very, very successful even 50, 60, 80, 100 years ago. We have to remember that. We're not the only intelligent people who ever had an aquarium. There's lots of people before us. When I show an aquarium and I set it up with the plenum and everything else, we are relying on bacteria. My point is professional aquariums, when I show they use sand, they have to keep that sand open. They do it through sea cucumbers. They do it through other ways. If they don't have any of those animals to keep digging into the sand, the guy goes with a stick and has to stir the sand up to get oxygen in there so they don't have an ammonia problem and wind up killing off their livestock. So this is a professional aquarium. Okay, so they know this. This is what they have to do. The hobbyist turns around and a lot of these people make a comment that, why don't you set up a tank without plants? Well, who wants to set up a tank without plants? It, it looks bad. You know, who, cosmetically, you're just going to have a square box with substrate in it. Nobody sets something up like that. You know, the, these people, don't they use any logic? People don't set up that. I've shown tanks where people have used all artificial plants. I show tanks with people who don't use plants. And I show tanks with people who do use plants. And every one of them are successful. That's the reason I show you other hobbyists from all over the world. People do what they want to do. I cosmetically don't want to set up a tank that has a substrate only and leave it at that. If you think that cosmetically looks good for you, fine. But if you want to see tanks like that um, a long time ago, that's how all tanks were set up at aquarium stores where you went to your pet stores. You would see tanks set up with under gravel filters, and that's it, and a ton of fish in them. And that's how tanks used to be set up a long time ago. In fact, to this day, there are some stores that still use that method, believe it or not. And they are mom and pop stores or something. They still have not changed to, oh, we'll put sponge filters in, or we're going to put uh, a whole system in of doing our aquariums where we're pumping water in and out they still use a substrate in the aquarium to grow bacteria. In fact, I think I explained that to you where there's a pet smart by me. They remove the substrate out of the aquariums. And they're all, she said they're having problems. Even though they have a filter in the back that we can't see, she said 
the balance, it's been set out of balance because the substrate would help keep the tanks in control along with the filtration that they have. And now they're having problems, she said. Ever since management decided to take the gravel out and put in a phony looking gravel, that paper underneath it that looks like there's phony gravel, there's nothing in the tank. She said they, they've been having problems now. So that goes to show you how bacteria is so badly needed in our aquariums. But I, these aquarium police with the, you know, they keep repeating themselves. Well, plants do nitrogen. I'm not saying that. Understand what I'm saying is number one, when you set up aquarium, you have to set up bacteria. The co and zic exist with your livestock that you're going to put in there. This is going to be your bacteria colony. This is the way it's done in the wild. This is the way it's done in wastewater management, sewage treat treatment plants. This is the way it's done. This is the way the whole hobby took off because we did this by making a biological filter out of your entire tank. And I was in the hobby for years and years, 20 plus years. I never used a live plant. I had artificial plants. I didn't want to go through the hassle of live plants. I didn't want to use the lighting system. I didn't care. Okay, I didn't want to get it. A lot of hobbies feel that way. I don't want to get in live plants. I don't want to be spending all that money on live plants because I don't want to be troubled with having a plant only live a few months and dying. Very common in this hobby. You know, and then they start talking to people, oh, you need more light, you need more fertilizer. You, they, they don't want to deal with that. And I know I talk to people from all over and they, people who don't want plants, they say, I don't want plants. I just don't want plants. I, I don't want to hassle with them. So they're going back to the old way of doing things is relying on your substrate, relying on bacteria to do the work it's supposed to be doing, just like in wastewater management that's being taught in our university and colleges. So it's sad to see that these people constantly, repetitively keep telling the same story over and over. Well, plants take nitrogen. Forget plants. And plants have become popular because that's what people are pushing today. They're pushing plants. It's part of the hobby to make money. Let's face facts. You know, when I was younger, you never went to a store and really saw plants. Uh, maybe a banana plant you saw in an aquarium or uh, Harnworth you, you saw or something like Kambaba or something like that you saw in an aquarium, some bunch plants or something. Nobody really dwelled on plants. It wasn't something that was thought of that was ever a necessity. It became a necessity when people found a way to make money. Why people do that? Because they just hurt the hobby when they open up their mouth and try to be the aquarium police. Oh, he's got way too many fish. Oh, that's for you to determine, right? Right? That's for you to determine. I did a survey on just that subject, and the survey came out of everybody said, basically, you had 90% of the people saying it's up to the individual on how many fish they want. It's up to your biological filter if it can handle it. It's up to your husbandry of the aquarium. All that determines how many fish you're going to have in your aquarium. It does not go by one inch of fish per gallon. It doesn't go by any of those rules. It goes by what I said, and everybody agreed to that. Okay, the aquarium police apparently don't agree to that, but everybody through the survey that I took personally, everybody agrees on that. Your husbandry, your biological filter, the size of the tank. Of course, you're not going to put an oster in a in a five gallon tank. That would be stupid, unless it's a baby. But you know, all this will determine 
on what kind of fish you're going to put in your tank and how many you're going to put in. But the aquarium police, they know better. They, 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 they know you have to follow their rules or, you know, you're stupid and they're great and you got to follow my rules. Really? It, it just doesn't work that way. Okay, so this is Dr. Novak. I just want to bring that up. Uh, I think people need to think before they make comments because um, I'm sure that other people read the comment and they may feel bad because somebody didn't think before they mentioned something. They said something a little stupid. They didn't think that bacteria is number one. Plants are cosmetic. Yes, they can do a lot of things you claim, but so can bacteria. And we have to depend on bacteria. Okay, no matter what, even if you put a sponge filter in your aquarium, you, that sponge filter has to get bacteria on it to stabilize the aquarium. It has to do it. It doesn't stabilize the aquarium just by you turning it on and it bubbles up and sucks in the water. Bacteria starts growing on it. And that's what does your nitrogen cycle. We all know that. So plants are not a necessity. Bacteria is a necessity. You can't live without it. We have bacteria on us. We have bacteria in our mouths. We have bacteria all over. We depend on bacteria to keep us alive, just like every other animal on earth. You know, I don't know what the problem is with people. You won't, you won't be alive if it wasn't for the bacteria. So until next time, this is Dr. Novak. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And But uh, if you feel offended because I tell the truth, how this trade really goes, well, then it, it's, it's, this is not for you. Then you, you need to listen to the people who are going to tell you what you want to hear, not the truth. Until next time, happy fish keeping.